Hands, and I wanted to do a quick little tutorial video on how to remove third-party patch collections, uh, multis and sound sources from Omnisphere. Uh, best to do is to start off in standalone mode. So I'll click on Omnisphere. And at the splash screen here, uh, one important detail is you need to know where your Steam folder is. So if you don't know where that is on your system, yet at this point, click on the Diagnostics button. And what this will do, it will go through and confirm how many sound sources, how many uh, factory patches you have, as well as where your Steam folder is located. So make note of this location as this is where you are going to go to uh, to remove all your third party that you do not want uh, installed in Omnisphere. So at this point, I'm going to remove Complexity, which is, a, depending on when you're seeing this video, a current release or an upcoming release of mine. Uh, so what I want to do here is I'm going to go to the Steam folder. So on a Mac, just go to Finder. I already have this bookmarked. Uh, so you go Spectrosonics, Library, Application Support, Spectrosonics. And we're going to go into the Steam folder. And then we're going to go into Omnisphere. And from here, there's going to be a few places we have to go. So feel free to pause and uh, replicate this on your system. So first off, we want to get rid of the patches. So we are going to go into the settings library and then we're going to go into patches. And at this point, I'm going to go down and find the folder I want to get rid of, which is complexity. So at this point, I'm just going to highlight complexity. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to delete it, move to trash. What else I need to do is go and remove the multis. Some collections may not have multis, but this one does. I'm going to go here and I'm going to select complexity and I'm going to right click. I'm going to move to trash. As well, I have custom sound sources with this. So what I want to do is go back on the sphere. And this time, instead of getting the settings library, I want to go into sound sources. And then user, do not delete anything in here, by the way, under factory. So go into user and then you get to see, uh, you know, my 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 dirty my dirty uh, sample testing folder. Uh, you're gonna find the collection you want. In this case, complexity, which has all the sound sources. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna go move to trash or delete on a PC. So at this point, I've removed all the content. Now close off your Finder or your uh, your utility menu there, and you want to go back into Omnisphere here as you have to do these next steps here. So, in the patch collection here, what you want to do on the patch page here, on the, pa on the patch one, you want to click on this button right here. And now this is going to do a browser refresh. It's going to refresh all of the patches. So click it. And depending on how big your collection is, and I know some of you have huge, massive third-party collections, uh, this could take a while. So we will sit here and just wait for this to go. And at this point, I'll just do a little advertising. You know, you can check this out at uh, RockyMountainSounds.com. Okay, so we've refreshed this. And yes, this is the weird thing. You still see it here. Next step is to click on your multi-folder, multi-browser. And we're already in here. At the same, here you go again. We have this refresh browser button. So I want you to click that in the multi section here. And this will regenerate the da the database and we close that off. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to go and on this default patch here, just go to the A section. You can do this anywhere as long as you can get to the sample folder here on the oscillator. Click on the folder. This is going to open up your sound source browser. And again, you're going to go and you're going to click the refresh button here. And there you go. So this has refreshed the browser, the patches, and the multi. Now what you're going to need to do, as you still see stuff in here, is just close down on the sphere. And this is why I say do it in standalone mode. And then you're going to come back, open it up. And you're going to see complexity has been removed completely. Go into multis, user directory, no complexity. And finally, you can confirm, you go into your samples and your sound source browser, and there's no complexity. So you've completely removed that collection, and you can do this with any third-party collection. And I find this is the best way of doing it. 
And there you go. I will do another video on how to quickly install Complexity back. But hopefully this will help those that just want to clean out Omnisphere or they just want to work on you know, a, a reduced amount of third-party collections as well. One thing to keep note is you do this, make sure you know where your sounds are because if you pull up a project that you've been working on, you won't have these sounds now in Omnisphere. So you want to make sure you can put those back. So there you go. I hope this is useful and we'll see you in the next video.